Hey y'all, welcome back to another video on Ludico Arms. So today we've got a repair to do, or we're going to get started on it today. We're still waiting on a part that's got to come. But what we've got here is a Charter Arms 38 undercover light. Uh, this is a, what they call a blue diamond undercover. It's a, obviously blue. It's real super light. It's an alloy frame. So the problem with this thing is, uh, I don't know if you can see right here, let me get some more light on the situation. There we go. See right here? That is the end of a boulette stuck in the chamber or well the not the chamber, the chamber is in the cylinder, but in the front of the barrel, or the rear of the barrel. And you won't be able to see it because I can't get light in there, but approximately that far from the muzzle, there's another one. So uh, according to the customer, there was a squib round and then a subsequent round fired behind it. I don't know exactly how many subsequent rounds because I haven't actually talked to the person who did this, but there's at least two and from the measurement between them up to four bullets stuck in the barrel here. Now the barrel does not appear to be bulged, so we should be able to get those out of there, but you may notice that this bullet here is mushroomed it looks like they tried to pound it out and looking down in the muzzle the bullet there is definitely pounded so they tried to stick something in there and pound it out themselves and they have successfully swaged that into a big mess that's not moving and while they were doing that either when they were trying to get the cylinder open because this bullet was stuck and they couldn't get the cylinder open they hammered it and they managed to um see all this play here they managed to break the the shaft on the crane here that the that the cylinder rotates on and part of it is broken off inside the cylinder so we're gonna have to disassemble that i've got a new crane coming but we'll have to get this disassembled not only to repair it, but also because I need it off of the here so I can clamp this in the vise to work on the, uh, the barrel obstruction. So, to get this off of here, your first step... Now, I already took this up to the shop and heated this end up just a little bit because there's Loctite on it. But your first step is going to be to unthread this end... <coughs> And you got to be careful because there's a spring behind it, which we don't want to lose. So we're going to un unscrew that from the rod. There it went. So we got that. There's a spring in there and then this cup. So we'll set those aside. And then we can pull this out. And you can see right here that the uh, the crane is broken off and suffered some damage right in here. You see how rough that is right there? So that is broken off and that piece is stuck in here. So we're going to have to disassemble this farther too. So in order to do that, we're going to press the ejector out and stick a punch in there to kind of hold it out and you can see get this light adjusted down here you can see right here there's a little hole and so what we're going to have to do is push down on this here and then spin the rod 
to line up there's a little itty bitty pin in there that we need to push out so get that lined up and it's kind of a kind of a pain in the butt to get to and see at the same time that looks like it's lined up let's see uh, apparently not um, let me grab my glasses so I can see better There we go. So you push that little pin out, and it's a little itty bitty thing. Just put that over here. And then, before you pull this back out, you need to face it down because there is a spring behind that that's going to pop when you pull this out of here. So you want to keep everything together. So you pull that out, and there's the end and there's the spring and there's the ejector and then this will come out this end and there's the rod and there's also a little washer but it's still stuck in there because you can see there's a broke off piece of the crane right there so we've got to get that out of there And I'm not entirely, yeah, there's a spring still in here. Okay, I believe that right there, we can give this a little tap. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's starting to come out. You can see, you can see the damaged area right there. So we need to get that pushed all the way out and see it's got a spring ring in there. And basically what happened is this thing broke right where the slot is machined in it for that spring ring that holds it together. So we're going to use our this uh, hole in here and what I'm doing is I'm sticking this in here and I'm catching the rear end of that rod but not the not the spring I don't want to damage the spring there we go all right so that's out of there now so now there's there's the spring that was inside that end and in here we've got the little washer that goes with the spring and the spring ring so this part is supposed to be right here that's all together and then you can see there's a slot in there that this spring ring is supposed to be in and that is what holds the cylinder onto the crane. But since it broke off, that's not going to be any good. So now that we've got that off, we've got to pull this screw out of the front of the crane. <clears throat> and then we should... We should be able to just pull that crane right off.
here we go so that screws out and there is our broken crane and you can see how that used to be together so that's toast we'll set that aside and we've got a new one ordered and it's on the way so now that we've got that out of there we'll be able to clamp this into a vise without worrying about messing that up so i'll get that all set up and then we'll be back okay so i've got this thing clamped up in this vise and I'm hoping that it'll be enough to do this job without having to take it out to the shop. But we'll see. So normally, when you've got something like this, you uh, would take a punch that is specifically... Normally, if you get a, a, a bullet stuck in the barrel, squib round, see this is a 38 special, and it just fits in there, and you tap it out. I tried that already. It's not moving, but that's usually what happens. If you get more than one stacked, they're not going to move like that. So, the next step we're going to do is to start drilling through the center of these bullets in order to relieve the pressure and hopefully get them to knock out so i've got a pair of these now i, I made these myself on a on the lathe one this one's for three eighths and this one's for a quarter inch and these are drill guides so you'll take the small one and you just set it in there so what this does is keeps your drill straight and also protects your rifling and your uh crown here so we'll put that in there and that'll guide our drill and then i've got a long a long drill bit this is the one eighth one and see it will fit that hole and that will keep the drill going straight so we don't have to worry about running into the sides of the rifle so we'll chuck this up and hopefully drill through and relieve the pressure on these bullets that are in there so oh my apologies it seems that my battery went dead while I was filming that. But right here you can see we have three. Three rounds that were stuck in the barrel of this gun. So what we did, we used our drill bushings. We drilled it out to an eighth of an inch and then we drilled it to a quarter of an inch and then we used a punch a 38 special a brass punch that's made 38 special it's made to knock bullets out and we knocked those on out of there so yep there were three three of them stacked in the barrel but now now our barrel is clear and we'll clean it and then uh, once we get the parts for the crane we'll come back and we'll uh, we'll put the crane and the cylinder back together and give it a test firing and call it good so uh, we'll be back when we get that part in should be a couple of days all right y'all we are back with this charter arms and it's about a week and a half two weeks since the last bit was filmed as you if you'll recall this was broken and we needed to get a new one 
so I ordered one and here's the new part but there is two problems it'll fit it would actually work but it's missing this piece here and these are all supposed to be the same but obviously they're not even though they say they are and there's no slot in here with a spring ring in it that holds this cylinder in the cylinder will fit on there and this would actually work but you would still have this problem because there's nothing to hold that in there the way this assembles so we had to eat that which is unfortunate but sometimes that's what you got to do and hopefully this package from ebay will contain the correct part that we need no it well look at that it, it it contains a bunch of chewed up newspaper so there's a card from the hey, hold on i'll be right back i gotta dump this out okay now we've dumped all the stupid paper out and lo and behold we have a complete nickel plated cylinder and crane Oh, that is perfect. That is just what we needed right there. That is exactly the part we needed. So now we can go ahead and get our little screw here. And this can go in here like so. Grab my little screwdriver. got to be very careful not to scratch this finish and this screw is very tight but there we go oh yeah all right so she is back together again ready to go sorry to shut the camera off for a minute there i started having a conversation so yep she's good to go now we can clean her up and return her to the customer so that's it hopefully this has helped somebody out and uh or you've enjoyed watching it, and we'll see you in the next video. Y'all have a good one.